What's the best response to no? I do not like you that way after asking a girl out, okay. And then, if applicable, we still good as friends though? Anything else is childish. I tried, the outcome wasn't what I hoped for, and so I'm the dick if I don't accept that. So I accept that, and move on. Also also, anyone that responds with that sort of no answer that is actually trying to play hard to get is not somebody that I'd want to date anyway. That's also childish. Oh, did you think that was as anything more than a friend? Whoa, whoa, slow down there I meant going as friends and we'd go Dutch. Did you think this was a date? This seems to indicate some sexual frustration on your part. Now I feel awkward. I'm going away now. After all of the mature, reasonable responses I had to do something different. I respect that, thanks for letting me know. Then move on, act normal, don't get your feelings hurt. Edit also, this saves you a ton of time, you now know this woman isn't interested in you in a romantic way or sexual way. No needless pursuit. Having a woman friend is huge leverage too when being out and in social settings so. Win win. Alright no problem just wanted to ask should work? No need to keep pushing to be friends unlike some comments say, unless you really want to be or were good friends before. No need to keep upping the embarrassment. Just don't insult back or get angry. It's dumb and plus indifference is stronger than anger in that situation anyways. Go on a rage induced rampage telling her how an alpha male such as yourself has options. Give her an inflated body count number and tell her how all of them squirted for the first time with you. Furthermore you make sure she knows that she is missing out and that you have made her eyes roll back in her head in less than 5 minutes. Just remember that she is probably flattered but doesn't want to hurt you if she did. A lot of great advice here already, but just play it cool and keep smiling. Girls talk about bad experiences and good. If you are kind and respectful, other girls will hear about it. Maybe a few that already like you. Most of the time I find that it's just too awkward so I just slowly stop talking to the person. If they don't like you to date and they're single it means they find something off about you that's big enough to not want you being in their personal life. So you have an acquaintance on your hands. I understand. And if you still feel some type of rejection and think things will be awkward after that, then just don't converse with her anymore. If you can still remain friends and just act normal and respect your decision. We'll see about that x200b jk duh x200b just say okay i respect that or something that acknowledges their choice and move on don't try to get them to change their mind by being a fake friend with ulterior motifs just say me neither i asked you out to get to know you you seem cool but apparently you don't want then ghost and act as if she's invisible if she really doesn't like you she won't care she will be happy you just stop here thank you for being direct and not wasting my time then move on. Even if she calls you back and expresses interest. If she pulls this shit, she'll always be playing games. Don't play those games. You'll always lose. Good to know. Thanks for the honesty. And then be proud you did something somewhat difficult and come to terms with the results. She's her own person. And who knows maybe you'll eventually find someone better. Call her an ugly hoe and tell her you never liked her anyway. And then tell her that nice guys like you always finish last. Edit for some reason Reddit doesn't seem to understand satire majority of the time. I don't like you that way either. I was just giving you the chance to buy me dinner. Confuses them. Makes them think you're mysterious and have the confidence they admire. Try it. It works. Assuming you know her from the framing of the question. 1. Sorry you feel that way, I just thought we would have fun together. 2. How about just a quickie? Either is pretty solid response. Well that just goes to show that dating is easier for women because women only date the top 10 of men therefore it's not fair and you're a bitch. Is that the answer you're looking for? Like the other comments say, just say alright and try not to worry too much about it. It can be tough but eventually you will get over it, but try not to dwell too much more. Anything that makes it clear that you respect her right to choose her own partners and won't do anything to attempt to harass her into changing her mind about you. Young me hey. Let's have sex. Her ha ha no thanks. Young me alright then. She continued being my close friend till I moved away a couple years later. Finally, a question so many of us have experience with. I look at them and say, well, goodbye then, have a nice life, turn and walk away, not looking back. Okay and move on. No BS like your loss or other remarks. Stuff like that makes you look full of yourself and make her think she dodged a bullet with you. Thank you for the truth now I know I can find someone else and not dwell on something that wouldn't be for me.
Every response I've read is right. No problem in either carrying on as normal, or putting a bit of distance between you if you need that. But either way never bringing it up again. No problem, then cut her off. You don't need to put yourself through dealing with her anymore once it's clear your interest won't be reciprocated. Oh okay no problem and then proceed to act normal. It's not fun to be with someone who doesn't want to be with you so don't make it a big thing. Okay. I'm not sure if you're looking for maybe specific phrasing on what exactly to say, but the general sentiment you're going for is acceptance. No worries. Thanks for being cool. I appreciate your candor. Here is my number if you ever change your mind. Any other response screams incel. Cool. Put your hands up in a disarming way. And if they're a colleague or a friend no worries, chat to you later. Never mention it again. No problem. I hope you take it as a compliment then give a small smile and let it be true that there is no problem. This has worked for me. I give her the opportunity to reconsider by performing karate moves so that she can fully comprehend the scope of my qualifications. Avoid her and move on. I wouldn't try the friend thing. If I had feelings strong enough to ask her out they would still be there. I once asked someone out, and she said, sorry, I am into girls. And in my awkwardness I replied, ah, I understand, me too, fine. You are an ugly whore anyway. This only works if while you're walking away someone throws a brick at your head. Apparently the suicide race is hot currently so if you don't go out with me I'll kill myself seems to be on point. Say? Ah. And run away like a crab like Zoiberg while yelling whoop, whoop whoop and pinching the air. Oh uh, I don't like you like that either. Just wanted to make a friend. Why did you think I'd like you like that? You could try asking for an explanation of how you could improve yourself to make yourself more attractive to her. How about the wrong way? Then shake your head and walk away in disgust of what you two just did to each other. No problem, thanks for still being the awesome person you always were and telling me honestly is my go-to. You don't have to like me, because I like your younger brother so I wanted to ask him out to get close. That's valid, I appreciate the honesty. Then go back to the way things were. Don't be weird about it. Seems like a great situation to use either Ace Ventures already then or Polly D's awkward. Um, don't know. The only one I ever asked said yes, and we're still married almost 24 years later. Give her a compliment of some sort and move on. Who knows, she might have a friend who likes you. I don't like myself either in a cheery way, like when you say that's my favorite color too. If you don't want to date me, that's fine. I get that. But you're wrong and I hate you. Just say okay and carry on with your life. Distance yourself from her. Find a new girl. I respect that, no problem. Then act normal around her. Don't get in your feelings. FYI people that aren't blind to social cues already know the answer 95 of the time. Alright some other time, and not bring it up again. Move on to the next girl. There goes that dream. Do a backflip and say how about now? Repeat until desired results occur. Every time this happens I just go fair enough and get on with my day. I asked you out not how you feel about me. We grabbing a drink or no? No worries, you're a little heavier than most girls I go out with. Okay. But do you like me this way? And then just do a handstand. Thank you for your honesty. I appreciate it and wish you the best. Okay. No worries. Just wanted to see if there was something there. I have found fucking off to be a pretty sound response at that point. I understand. Thanks for being direct and nice. Have a great day. I would say okay no problem have a good day. Or nothing at all. Calm acceptance and moving on. Continuing to hang out as friends. That's fair and then throw some finger guns while backing away. Just walk away. Ask yourself why you think you need to come back. No worries. Hope you have a good day. Thumbs up. It's not that hard. Thank you for your honesty. I respect and understand that. Low well, okay then just act normal don't get emotional or anything. Cow bummer and skateboard off with tears in your eyes. Thank you for being direct and straightforward about it. Okay. No problem. And leave them alone or remain friends. I will sincerely thank her for her honesty and move on. Cool. Let me know if you change your mind and walk away. Alright I'm a go home smoke weed and play video games. Thank you for being honest and not making fun of me. We can either do this the easy way, or the hard way. Get on the internet and find some incel group to join. That's fine, we can still be friends and move on. Turn around and ask if she likes you the other way. Ah shucks, what am I gonna tell the other fellas? 